has playing Lara Croft changed your life? Well, I represented the character in real life for um, like a full year, and we did a world tour. We went, you know, to Australia, America. Um, in Madrid, for example, we had 4,000 people turn up for a signing, so it just wow. gives you some idea of how big it was. Mm -hmm. And you know, and it, and it was a real pleasure to do, you know, especially meeting the kids. You know, they'd be so excited to meet you, and then suddenly when they met you, they'd just be speechless and just stare up at you and just be amazed that you were there. Yeah, I know, because everyone's obsessed with yeah. Lara Croft. And the thing is, I think a lot of people don't realise that she isn't real. It's a computer mm. character, and it was created long before they ever brought any real people in to dress up as her. And you know, it just became so big that they then realised that you know somebody had to dress up and be there at exhibitions to represent her and have, have pictures taken with people and sign autographs. So you know, it, it's been a fan it was a fantastic year and it's helped my career enormously. So, so how did you get to become Lara Croft? I had to audition along with about 150 other girls, oh, yeah. and at the time I had a shaved head. Last January I had no hair. I was going to ask you about the shaved head. Um, yeah, I shaved it all. <laughs> what off. made you want to shave it? I was having a really bad hair day, and I thought my hair was yellow, and I was crying by the pool in Tenerife, and I was like, oh, my hair's yellow. But I, I've always wanted to do it, and it was just the timing with work. I, I couldn't do it because there was shoots booked or something that was standing in the way, and I just thought, well, I'm on holiday, I'm going to do it, and I didn't tell anybody about it. And I came back to London and my agent's face just dropped. Did you feel colder? <laughs> it was freezing. It was the wrong time of year to do it. If you're going to shave your head, do it in the summer. I had to wear um, a woolly hat all the time. but <laughs> And I felt like then it started going a bit furry and it was, it was like a tennis ball. You know, I, was, I used to just spend like, hours How just attractive. feeling red. <laughs> but, you know, it was, it was an experience. And I would do it again, obviously, if it was for the right thing. But it's nice to be a bit feminine. But when change. you went for the job and you thought, well, I'm long and Lara's dark, did that not... I wore a wig. I wore a wig to the casting and a little cut-off denims and tried to recreate the image as much as I could. And, you know, and you had to be interviewed and pretend to, like, you know, hold, like, a couple of guns, you know. Oh, yeah, give us your pose. Um, How did you do that? How did you, you to give us your pose? Like that, you know, like... A bit like that? Yeah, but and you know, throw a few kicks and things like that. So it was um, something I can't do in this dress, I'm afraid. So don't ask. You know, it, it was just a, it was a great experience overall. You know, and it's something that I have done, and I've moved on now, and I'm doing other things. And I don't who know. knows? You could be the next Hollywood film star. I'd love Fingers to, crossed, I'd love eh? That's my dream. <laughs> Fingers crossed for now. Thank you, Nell. Thank Thanks wonderful. for having Good me. Good luck with everything. Thank oh, you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? No, the country.